so here we are it's uh day eight and uh we're at i think mile marker 213 which means we just have about 12 miles to go down to the uh, takeout uh and uh that's probably just a little over an hour of, of rafting so uh, I, I guess we have a few few little rapids left but mostly we've we, we've made it down the we can say now i feel like we can say we, we made it down the colorado through the grand canyon over lava falls and and uh, uh granite falls and crystal and uh 100 different other rapids uh everybody has little nicks i suppose some nicks are bigger than others but everyone's in pretty good health i'm in good health i had three treatments and uh in some adverse conditions at times but uh uh we we did it the guides got us through they they made it all work and kept us fed and safe and so uh i think the trip was a success it has been a success and uh the uh, you know i think the the thing that everyone had to deal with was the heat uh at different times uh at the end of the day uh even when you're on the raft at times, uh, it was oppressively hot. You probably didn't want to know what the exact temperature was because that would just make you feel hotter. Um, but it was a dry heat most of the time. <laughs> it was, but it was probably up in the 100 teens, some kind of 100 teens. I was so I hope it didn't get over 120, but it could have. Uh, last night we spent most of the night uh, before dinner just sitting down in the water on chairs. <laughs> and uh, waiting for the sun just to get behind the ridge. Uh, but actually last night, sleeping wise, was pretty comfortable. So, um, but uh, all in all, it, it, it's the Grand Canyon and we did it. We, we went through the Grand Canyon. So um, that was the goal. That uh, was a trip of a lifetime for me. And uh, I don't know that it's totally sunk in yet, but uh, it, it's, uh, we, we, I think we've done it. I, I think um, we'll, we'll do some recaps of the other two days that we didn't get, but uh, speaking of dialysis, um, what, uh, you had three, <coughs> you had three treatments. All had their own unique flair about them. The third one you were even saying maybe we'd have a crazy day. Yeah. So kind of tell, you know, briefly tell me about uh, treatment one, two, and three. And, so treatment one is uh, is is so we uh, we came into a camp in a, in a wind a strong wind and I was skeptical I was like I don't know if we can treat in this wind but uh, it's uh, having to take my own advice where you just have to keep going forward if if we stopped right there and stood on the shore we wouldn't have gotten down the river. So you just uh, start setting up your camp and then we started setting up the machine and um, we got through the, uh, got through setting it up and and uh, by the time, it, uh, I'm trying to remember, but I think it was still blowing pretty hard when I put in my needles. Uh, Kay was trying to block it with the wind, but it wasn't terrible uh, and so, uh, that the the thing I remember about that treatment was the view. I think was was the best because I didn't have a lot of tarps and stuff over me. The next two treatments I did have tarps over me, but they were definitely needed. <laughs> so I gave up the view for just uh, comfort and safety. Day two, or the second treatment was uh, that was um, the stormiest treatment where we, uh, I, I don't think it rained much uh, during the treatment, but um, at one point I think there were five or six people holding down the tarps around me and uh, Kay was inside the uh, shelter helping me to get on and um, we had we'd gone through the process of getting on the snap and taps the last thing. And, and again, I, I thought, well, should I cannulate? And uh, at that point, it, it, completely up to me I could say uh, um, I could say oh I gotta stop I could have said we can't do this uh, but instead you just have to go forward 
and uh, got those needles in and uh, hooked up and eventually the the winds died down and uh, it made it through that treatment and uh, in between those treatments we've, we've had some pretty crazy weather on uh, day three I guess it was after the first treatment in between the first two treatments we we got a real storm in camp and we initially were talking about dialyzing on day three but um, I think everybody agreed that it was really probably a good idea that we weren't dialyzing because <laughs> it was a big storm. There was uh, um, the wind and heavy rain. Did it hail? It, it didn't hail that time, but wind and heavy rain, thunder and lightning. Um, I uh, just took shelter in the tent after a bit of trying to hold it down and thought, well, I can hold it down from the inside. So that um, kind of set the stage for what's possible, I think, in everybody's mind that those storms could blow in at really any moment. Um, and, uh, and so we were always measuring, you know, our expectation was that. I think, you know, that, that sort of set my expectation. This is, this is what we're going to have to deal with. So the next day when we did dialysis and it didn't rain, it was like, well, it's better than it was yesterday. And it wasn't as windy. That, that third day was the windiest, I think. Um, Day four, we were hiking, and uh, and and we saw the storm coming. We we were uh, we could see the the skies darkening, so we started coming down this uh, the face of the canyon uh, down to the river, and uh, and we could just see the storm blowing in over the ridge, and it was beautiful. It was really really pretty beautiful, but. Uh, Oh, all we could do is keep keep going down, and then it started raining on us, and um, just had to be careful with the slipperiness of the rocks. And then uh, it hailed, it started hailing. You're, first you're like, hey, look, is that, is that hail? You're kind of squinting at the little, yeah, I think that's hail. And then all of a sudden, it's like, bap, bap, <laughs> there's these marbles falling on your head. You're like, whoa. <laughs> so we had to get into the um, shelter as uh, Doug and Kyle and I and, and Kat and Dave, and uh, we found a little little ledge to get under, uh, un, un, uh, previously unidentified ledge, but um, it was enough shelter so that we could uh, marvel at what we were seeing coming just across the valley and and just uh, a rivulet opened up a little waterfall <laughs> next to us and the trail started, I mean, it was just an instant change. And uh, it just impressed upon us again that uh, how quickly the weather can change and and hail. I mean, it's it's. We were hot all day. You wouldn't think it was going to have anything to do with ice falling from the sky, but um, there it was. And so again, we were like, well, you know, that might be something we have to deal with. So uh, and then we, we said for the last treatment, well, you know, what what would be the craziest weather we could have, and it would be if it was just you know it wasn't windy and it was about 90 degrees and and uh, was, and that's kind of what we had uh yet uh on day six the, for the third treatment it wasn't uh 90 degrees it's probably more like 110 but um it wasn't raining it wasn't cloudy and uh and so it, it was uh uh weather wise might have been the easiest treatment uh was the last one but um, this, is a, this is an extreme environment. There's no doubt it's, it's more, uh, if you were gonna just think about it, it would be a desert. It's just, you're in a desert. And, uh, and there happens to be a, a source of water that's nice and cold. But um, basically it's just a desert environment and uh, with storms that can come in of any size and, and intensity. And uh, in, in you're in this canyon, maybe that's one difference is being in the canyon is you can't see anything coming until it's coming over the ridge. So um, there could have been storms last night we didn't know, you know, 10 miles away from us that we were oblivious to because all you have is this little little uh, section of the sky that you can see. And, and uh, so a lot of these things come in and are on top of you um, with minutes to go before you, you can kind of brace yourself for them. So, uh, so in a way, it's like a desert, a surprise desert weather, a desert with weather surprises. <laughs> so uh, it was, uh, I think that's, you know, that's what I'm taking away from this is it's, it's a very, very, very much the canyon is, is, uh, is still a wild place. You know, there's not a lot of 
wild places left in this world, I guess, or in the continental United States. And uh, this is definitely one of them. This is, this is an untamed wilderness. Even with the river being uh, dammed, it's, it's not tamed. <laughs> the, the weather's not tamed, so uh, the little critters that'll bite you aren't tamed. So uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a, a pretty extreme environment, but the machine held up and I held up and then everybody else held up so uh we 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 did it but it's nothing to be trifled with <laughs> i'll say that lava um, 